How much do you enjoy running those <laughs> 20 <laughs> miles after? <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I know I had a big weekend too. I gotta get out there. All right, well, we got some great weather for some exercising outdoors. We have temperatures that are gonna be close to normal and some sunshine in the forecast. I'll take a look. This is the campus of High Point University today and you will see a lot of blue sky. We did start off with some clouds and of course we did have, oh yeah, a smidge of rain over the weekend. We definitely need more rain in the picture. We don't have a whole lot. In fact, Monday and Tuesday are going to be dry days with temperatures in the low 60s. Wednesday is cloudy and cooler with highs that are in the 50s. And then our next chance of rain is the end of the week with uh, some showers potentially by Friday. We're cooling down quite a bit and the big story overnight is going to be the lows. They'll be down in the 30s again, so it's going to feel like it's freezing in the mountains and we'll have some mid 30s across the Piedmont Triad. Right now we have 44 in High Point and we're 39 in North Wilkesboro. Sparta is at 40 degrees. Our high temperatures this week are going to be a little closer to normal, which is 62 for this time of year to get a little bit warm toward the end of the week ahead of that front, which does bring in that chance of rain. I know we're just sort of getting into fall or having hoping it'll feel like fall, but we're already counting down to winter. We've got 39 days from winter and the average high is 51 then and coming up next weekend. Would you believe there are already some holiday parades? You've got High Point Sunday afternoon at three Reedsville also Sunday, Saturday afternoon, Martinsville and Saturday morning, Burlington as well as Raleigh. Now, as we look into that Thanksgiving week, the temperature outlook for the eastern half of the nation is warmer than normal, also expecting wetter than normal conditions. So we do need some rain. Didn't get a whole lot the other day, just a few one hundredths of an inch or trace even at the airport at PTI in Greensboro. We are about an inch and a half below normal for the month and we are just about two inches below normal for the year. Now we have seen some improvements, thankfully, for our fire danger across the region. We're in the moderate threat zone for the triad, the foothills and the mountains for tomorrow and for Tuesday may go up some by Wednesday. We've got dry skies in the forecast. No rain between now and Friday. That's when it will return. Clouds out to the west. They're staying mainly to our south. I do think we're going to be relatively cloud free tomorrow. There may be a few passing clouds in the morning, but it's mainly sunny. Breezes out of the west southwest. High temperature tomorrow is about 61 in the triad. We'll start off around mid 30s and then we've got low 30s in the foothills and then up to about 61 as well in our foothill towns for the mountains, a high also near 60 with a west breeze, but quite chilly in the morning at 32. Here's the forecast. If you're traveling tomorrow afternoon and into Tuesday, you're going to notice some clouds by Tuesday morning and then by Tuesday afternoon. Everybody's pretty much in the 50s and 60s and we'll have more clouds in the forecast for Wednesday. Then we've got that chance of rain on Friday and slightly cooler temperatures, but close to normal for the weekend. All right, Lainey, thank you. Coming up next, how the Triad celebrated Veterans Day this weekend.